The federal government is massive, wasteful, and growing larger every year. It's time to downsize the federal government. The Department of Health and Human Services was created in 1979 to manage Medicare, Medicaid, and myriad other federal health programs. Today, the department takes up nearly a third of the federal budget, around $908 billion. That's about $7,500 for each U.S. household. The overwhelming majority of spending programs within the department are transfer payments, redistributing income from some and giving it to others in the form of health care payments and aid to states for the same. The biggest state aid program is Medicaid, a program that matches state spending on health care, effectively paying states to spend more than they otherwise would. Spending jumped from $118 billion in 2000 to $275 billion by 2010 and spending on the program is expected to double over the next decade. It's estimated that fraud and improper payments make up between 10 and 20 percent of the cost of federal health programs, which would mean that Medicare and Medicaid waste as much as $180 billion a year. A New York Times investigation revealed criminal gangs diverted Medicaid-covered muscle-building drugs that were intended for AIDS patients to bodybuilders. A dentist stole more than a million dollars from New York's Medicaid by making claims for fictitious patients and procedures. New York schools charged Medicaid more than a billion dollars for unneeded or unprovided special education activities as a way to bilk the state out of Medicaid grant money. Medicare is the third largest federal program after Social Security and Defense. Medicare's own trustees say the program has unfunded obligations of more than $30 trillion over the next 75 years. Congress must cut Medicare spending substantially and give enrollees the freedom to choose the coverage and services that mean the most to them, rather than subject them to government rationing. The way to do so is to transform Medicare into a system based on individual savings, choice, and vigorous private competition using individual vouchers and large health savings accounts. Medicaid must be turned into a block grant program in the short run so states aren't incentivized to spend more than they otherwise would on the program. In the long run, Medicaid should be completely funded and operated by state governments. By turning Medicare into a consumer-driven plan and block granting Medicaid, taxpayers would save hundreds of billions of dollars in the coming years. For more on cutting the Department of Health and Human Services and other government programs, please visit downsizinggovernment.org a project of the Cato Institute.